Hello Hacktubers and welcome back to my channel and let's start the today video. Okay, with these components I will make a powerful power supply that will give 12 volts and with this transformer that I'm using will give a 4 amps and I'm using a very good component, a bridge rectifier like this one which can handle up to 50 amps maximum and that is a great. And not to forget I love old components, electronic components like this, this capacitor which is 1000 microfarads up to 40 volts and it's from the brand AIK I don't know but it's pulled out from old transistor and I will use in the power supply before building to explain this is a tra transformer then that from one side there is an input of AC voltage from 110 volts up to 220 volts AC voltage that is in and the transformer converts the from 220 volts to 16 volts AC and when it's converted to bridge rectifier that voltage will drop to around 14.4 volts which is perfect for charging batteries 12 volt batteries and this transformer can give it says here is 16 volts 15 50 watts that means if we charge at 12 volts I'm gonna get around 4 amps which is good next thing is this beautiful metal all metal for metal cooling with in the center with hole so you can tie it up on the metal heatsink this bridge rectifier uh, can handle up to 50 amps and it's good and the last component that I will use is a electrolytic capacitor 1000 microfarads 40 volts to stabilize the the voltage when comes from the bridge rectifier okay and some wires I'm gonna use with connectors so I can directly connect to the bridge rectifier like this one it's easy okay Because in today's project we are using 12 volts and 4 amps for the bridge rectifier, it's not needed a heatsink, so I so I directly tight up on the on the wood piece and on the bridge rectifier it's marked that this pin is plus. This is negative, this is positive and on these pins comes 
AC voltage with this okay so we have a positive negative this is for output and AC in voltage goes here and here from these wires that's wire up Okay, I'm finished it just to test it and prove it the voltage with my digital multimeter. Place it right here. Okay. Okay, all is connected. I have a digital multimeter. Here here I have a charger for car batteries or 12 volts acid batteries this setup will give 14 power 4 volts with a 50 watts a transformer here I have a bridge rectifier 50 amps 1000 microfarads at 40 volts 40 and on these alligator clips I get 14.4 volts. Let's measure that. This one goes here. What? Zero volts. Why? Because it's not power on. says 21 DC voltage why you are asking why 21 volts DC volts because the capacitor rise up the voltage and when I hook up the light look 12.4 volts 
and this is a H4 lamp 12 volt 55 watts this thing is pulling around 4 amps why that's why the voltage is dropped to the 12 point let's see 3 or 4 4 volts the whole setup setup is working great okay okay here i have a 12 volts 20 amps this is rechargeable VRLA battery and it's for solar systems okay this goes on positive this goes on negative and let's measure the voltage now 14 volts this system is charging 14.4 volts removing 13.2 volts is charging and the whole system is working fine give a like and that was all for today video building a homemade 12 volt charger for car batteries or like mine this is for solar 12 volts 20 amps and this thing is giving 4 amps at 12, 12 volts but the bridge rectifier can handle up to 50 amps don't forget that bye